Hi, and welcome again to another episode of Let's Go See It. Today we'll be traveling to Fayetteville, West Virginia, and we're going to see the Kmore Mine. We're going to travel all 821 steps, all the way down from the top to the bottom of the mile. It's about a one and a half mile trek, and you're going to see exactly what I see. I'm going to tell you what to expect. It's going to be a fun experience. So let's go ahead and let's go see it. This is what you see as you travel on the main street of Fayetteville, which is about three miles away from the entrance to the Fayetteville Minor Strip. Now, from the time you make your way through the front entrance, you're gonna be going down. At first, the descent is not too steep. You'll have some stairs, uh, various portions throughout the trail. Now, don't mistake those trails are part of the 821 steps that you'll have to go to when you get to the mine, but you're gonna keep going down, 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 and eventually you're gonna make it to the very opening of the mine. As I walked on the trail, this was actually one of my favorite spots. Now, the day that I came, it didn't rain, and it didn't rain a few days before, so there wasn't a lot of water that was coming off of these rocks. However, if there's a lot of precipitation a, a day or two before you get there, I'm told that the water is you know, gushing down this rock, and it's almost like a miniature waterfall, and it's quite the scene. But unfortunately, that there wasn't that much water on the day that I was there. As you're walking along the trail, you'll come across this view. And in my opinion, this is the best view that you'll get of the mountains. Um, most of the trail is, is really heavy foliage, a lot of tree coverage, so you're not gonna be able to see uh, much. But this right here is the best view that you're gonna see as you travel along the trail down to the entrance of the mine. Now the distance from the parking lot to the entrance of the mine, uh, what you see here, is about three quarters of a mile. And once you get here, you get to a flat landing area. Um, and it's clearly, uh, as you look down, you're gonna see a, a bunch of steps. Um, but beyond the steps, um, and to the right and to the left, mostly to the left, you're gonna see a bunch of um, uh, buildings and structures that are left over from when the mine was operational. At the very entrance to the mine, you'll see uh, signage that uh, kind of, you know, encourages miners to be safe. And as you walk along the buildings, you'll see about safety. And that was a major concern. Thousands of Americans died each year doing, uh, um, you know, while mines were in operation. The chief cause of death while at the Kmore mines was roof failures, fires, and electrocutions. Now, do you remember those 821 steps I told you about? This is where they begin, and they go all the way down, down, down to the very bottom. The big thing to remember here is every step that you take going down, you're gonna have to take that step coming back up, and coming back up is a lot harder. Definitely recommend you hydrate and take lots of water. Take breaks as you go down. You'll see these landings right here. Take opportunities to give your legs a rest going down, and also give your legs a rest coming all the way back up.
this is what the bottom of the trailer looks like. Um, after all that walking, by the time you get here, you're like, yes. Um, as you uh, walk around, you'll see some old buildings. Um, I'm not a miner, so I have no idea what I'm, I was looking at, but it was kind of cool just to see all the old buildings and structures and just get a, you know, you can get a sense of there, were, there was a community down here. There were people who uh, came here to work every, every day. Some people maybe even lived down here. So it was kind of cool to see all that. So what you're seeing here is me walking back to the parking lot. Now, when I looked at the website and did my research before coming here, it said this was a heavily traveled trail. However, I didn't see anyone. I was there pretty early though. I got there around maybe eight o'clock in the morning. Um, these people that you see here are all climbers and they are uh, working with park rangers to help fix and repair damage that uh, has been done to the trail. Uh, but I only saw uh, two people uh, who were uh, there basically just to enjoy the trail. I imagine that as it gets later on in the day, um, it uh, it gets quite quite busy. But for the most part, you kind of have the trail to yourself. <laughs> 